I work for the Australian Koala Foundation. Just one Saturday morning, the landlord, the guy we were staying with, said, oh, you know, here's the Ballarat Courier paper. Do you want to have a look at it? And of course, Renee went straight to the real estate section and she saw this ad there and it said, vineyard for sale. I've emptied a lot of bottles, so I just thought it was time to fill a few. Great wine from the vineyard and Dave Brew's beer, 100 litres at a time. And we make cider from the apples. We juice them ourselves and make uh, yeah, beautiful cider. And the reward when people try your wine and they say, oh, that's great. That's what it's all about, really. We're more of a dinner and breakfast place, really. Well, Renee and I both were passionate about preparing great food for people, giving them a real gourmet experience. We've got um, the cottage, which sleeps three people. It's one big room, um, overlooks the vineyard, uh, and um, very private. And then we've got um, the two rooms in the main house with the private entrance, and they'll sleep two people each, so we can sleep six people all together. A lot of times groups come up or families come up just to get away for the weekend. I've always loved listening to music, and a lot of the people we get out here, they love listening to music too. So I've got you know 600 albums out there, so they know what they're going to do that night. They're going to sit around the fire, drink wine or beer and listen to music. They want a nice weekend getaway where they don't have to do anything except be waited on, sleep in a comfortable bed and have um, food of their choice and just chill out, listen to music. And, uh, this is the place to come. <laughs> well, it was the, the three of us, uh, me, my brother and my father, started this place up. I wanted to start this restaurant to be like a rustic French restaurant, really. I worked under a great chef, Annie Smithers, for a little while. And basically seeing her food, it's community grown, she grows it on her own property, um, paddock to plate, basically. And I love that aspect of it, and just learning how to make pastries, learning how to roll things out, make it by hand. But it's been really exciting, you know, watching my son um, in particular sort of grow and blossom in the kitchen um, has been great, you know, which has been the main part of you know, why we took it on in the first place. And so developing that you know, has been great over the last couple of years. I'm basically self-taught as well, so everything I do comes through cookbooks, and just experience under different chefs. Every now and again, I'll take time off and go work in a different kitchen. Uh, go work with some of my friends that are chefs or try and get into a decent restaurant in Melbourne. Or Last year, actually, I flew up to Sydney to, to go and work with a chef up there. The wines we access locally, um, we have Amherst Winery, which is just out of town. Um, and then we're close to the Pyrenees, so we have a lot of the Pyrenees range. You know, hearing people talk about how much they love the food, um, it's just, yeah, yeah, as a dad, you know, it's just really great to hear. Talbot feels like, I mean, especially on a day like today, feels like a sleepy little village. Um, once a month it really comes alive when we have the farmer's market here. People think that the bypass road is Talbot. You know, they don't take the opportunity to come off that ring road um, and explore what's really here. And when people come in here, you know, they take a look at the buildings and they think, my God, you know, we never knew this sort of place still existed. There's not many places in Melbourne that you can come and just uh, see food that we do out here and sit in a community garden and have like a fresh apple picked out of the garden or have something that I've, like herbs that I grow in the garden or have something from there fresh onto your plate. Um, so a place like this, you know, where we offer food um, alongside the accommodation that's here. You know, people can come, they can have a great night out. Not expensive, but the quality of the food is Melbourne quality. You know, 